Hey everyone, it's been a while, so I thought I'd put the manifolds on tankens time because that's what I have. Um, things are just a little bit hectic still here right now. Um, I'll give you guys an update at the end of this video. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get this bad girl on tarped and see what we have to work with. Okay, this is where I kind of left off about a month ago. Um, you guys missed the, I should have took the camera in to show you how to heat the old studs up and get them out. Um, what's happening now, and you wouldn't sh think that the steel would shrink and warp, but the bolt holes don't match up. Excuse the bike guys, you know, on a busy highway here. Um, so I'm going to put the gaskets in place here and I'm going to show you how to make a cheap manifold spreader. What's going to happen is going to put it in between these two. Now you can either use a spreader to push this apart or you can drill your holes out bigger in your exhaust manifold but I prefer just to use a spreader because uh, sometimes when you drill them it don't exactly cover right where it's supposed to here. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll get the pieces I collected. Use pieces I'll show you how it goes together. Okay I apologize right now if you hear any wind noise but anyway you're gonna need four pieces. You need a flat washer, a 3 8 nut and a hardened 3 8 bolt and this here is a brake caliper slider. It's part of a GM slider pin. Some of you may recognize that. So we're going to go ahead and put it together. And I'll show you how that works in a second. Okay, just ran the bolt down. Put the washer here so it doesn't bind against the tubing. Now you can use anything you want. I'd like to use this uh, slider pin part of it because it's really hard. Okay, you stick it together like this. And you can guess what's going to happen now. So when you take your two wrenches, and open it up it's going to push apart the manifold down inside of here like this okay now we need to do a slight modification to this so it doesn't slip off we're going to grind a, a hollow spot in here and on here now i'm going to grind a little mark in the face you use the corner of the grinder so be careful you should have gloves on and goggles all that good stuff Just like that. So you guys can see that. Yeah, all right, so I had to do a little digging to find my gaskets and my bolts and stuff since it's been a month since I've uh, worked on it. I'm just going to go ahead and put my lock washers on these bolts and put my gaskets in here on these two right here. And then I'll show you how to install that. We'll see how much is missing. Okay, so I've got those four bolts in. I'm going to put these other two in. I'm going to show you how much this manifold's warp, if I can. Um, let's see. Let's see if you guys can zoom in here. Alright, i got a bolt stuck in the bottom. How well this is going to turn out. You see the hole right there? Right there, look. Now, if you could go cross-thread it, go like that, you might cross-thread it. Um, I don't want to do that. But you can see how much is missing. You, know, you could drill the last two out, but you want this to match up with the gasket perfectly. So let's go ahead and install our homemade expander tool on that, right in there. Uh, let's see if I can get you guys set up to a good camera angle here. Okay, this should work now. Now you see I've notched it that way and that way. That's going to sit right on there so it doesn't slip or turn, whatever you want to call it. Now, I'm trying to stay out of your guys' way here, but it's pretty much impossible. All right, get that all the way out. Now this is a common problem for GM too. I'm not sure if uh, any other of the engines like Ford or Dodge have this problem. I haven't run into it, but it's usually just GM manifolds. I robbed these off my other motor. They're supposed to be for my truck. Um, and my turbo project, which never 
I've never finished yet. I haven't even looked at it. Okay, so now we're just gonna hold this until it gets tight enough and it should dig in and hold it by itself. Okay, now if I uh, you guys zoomed in enough, you should be able to see the clearances disappear where the bolt is. I'll go nice and slow so it'll make you guys sick here. Okay, you can see the bolt here. And you see what's happening. I'm just going to crank on it until I can get the bolt started. It doesn't take much either, most times. Now, I've never broke one yet, but word of warning, it probably, see, it almost start there. It could probably happen, so and if that happens, then your manifold is no good anyway. I can almost start it there. Here are a couple more cranks here. It's still not. Oh, knocking you guys all over the place here. Oh. Let's see if you guys still see. No. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna move you around here a little bit. Still not exactly where I want it to be. Needs to go some more. I can't see. I'm having trouble seeing here. Right there. Kind of wants to start. I'll give her some more. You wouldn't think that cast iron manifold would actually warp, but it does. <laughs> now I've got pushed up cockeyed kind of. The bolt doesn't want to start. Let's try that one. Normally this works right away. I may have to unbolt some of the bolts in the back manifold so I can tilt it down a little bit. Probably if I have my air ratchet and socket here I could force that in there. You do not want to cross thread these. If you bust one of these in the head it's going to cost you big bucks to uh, get a machine shop or somebody else take it out. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'll be right back. Just give me a second. Okay, with some struggling, this uh, expander tool is kind of hitting the temperature sensor. It's giving me some grief because I can't tilt the manifold to the right angle for the bolt to start, but I think I got it now. I actually taped at the end of the bolt just slightly so she would start. I don't know if I got it or not. I don't think so. I'm going to have to come back to it, I think, with a ratchet and socket. I have it now. There it goes. Like I say, you want to be careful you don't strip these stupid things. Cross rid it. I think that's good there. I should have probably drilled them out too. Would have made life a lot easier. Now I'm going to have to get a screwdriver in there to pry that apart to uh, put my exhaust gasket in. Yeah, the bolts are kind of short. I don't know what happened there. I said two inch. I think I got two and a quarter inch bolts. Anyway, we're gonna get a screwdriver in there and pry that apart now. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is just try to pry the manifold away from the head just a bit so I don't take the bolts. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, take the bolts back out, there. Now, we're gonna go ahead and loosen this off and then we're gonna tighten the center two first and then we'll work tighten the end two and the end two. Okay. I caught a bee. Daddy, Any Daddy, frogs? Oh, that's mean. Don't kill bees. They're good for flowers, buddy. I oh, would well, not. What? Oh. Probably a torque to this, but uh, you normally just go by feel. So, Anyway, you get the idea. Tighten them up. Definitely use two and a quarter bolts. Two inches aren't long enough for these manifolds, so I'm going to go get some more. 
home hardware, here we come again. I have some used ones around here, I'll just finish up with that. Okay, so next step is to install our studs. See, I got one here already. And uh, we'll get ready for the pipes. They might have to wait a little bit. It helps you clean that ring out too, inside that manifold before you try this. There's that. I should have a, so a six point socket on here. This 12 points aren't very good. Especially a wrench. Yeah. These are all friggin' leftover parts from over the years that I had in my toolbox. So it it, say, it uh, helps to be a hoarder sometimes. People don't get that sometimes. They even have some, some flanges somewhere in the garage for this. Now I just need to make my pipe and a muffler. You guys are going to see how I'm going to do that. But there's one side. I'll repeat on the other side the same process. Alrighty, so I have both manifolds on now. We're going to spark her up here and see if she sounds a little different. Um, I might make this a two-parter, I don't know. I have to make my pipes and I think I've decided on side pipes out the side here and then have it blown straight out the side because I don't want I want to keep the motor and anything hot up front contained, keep away from the back because I want to put another set of seats here so I can take passengers um, and like have it removable so I can have a hydraulic lift and a winch on the back so I can use it for skid and firewood too. Okay, so we're going to spark her up and I got a new, new used air cleaner. And I'll have to heat these up a little bit, put these on. I waited too long to put my studs in. But okay, regardless. Okay, let's see if we can spark this baby up. I need to put an ignition switch in pretty soon too. This is kind of even, uh, getting a little bit annoying. Yeah. Hopefully it's in neutral. <laughs> I gotta hold on to the red wire just in case. It'll plow my garage down. bit cold. I think the choke's on. Try that again. <laughs> Can't make it around there fast enough. I think I'm deaf now. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright guys, and this might be a two-parter because I don't have any parts to finish this. I need to make my, like I said, my pipes come from here. I'm going to put the muffler in here somewhere and I think I'm using some uh, Vax mufflers that are on sale right now for uh, 24 bucks a piece I think. And I'll put a big square muffler right in here. Or down there, I'm not sure yet. I want to keep everything hot, like I said, in here and then make a side pipe come straight out. Alright guys, talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> I hope they'll be able to work on this more now. Um, I was still not sure if the wife's in remission. They botched the bone marrow test last week, so we still have to wait for that. And I'm pretty sure she is, though. Because um, they're not in too much of a hurry. Uh, this by the looks of her blood it looks like she is but uh, and we still haven't found out if her sisters will match for a, the stem cell transplant um, each sister has a one in four chance of being a match she has two sisters so that's 50 percent chance so um, that's all we can hope for so at this point anyway i'll talk to you guys later and hopefully i'll have another video this week okay talk to you later